some of the benefits of immunotherapy um, may be different to measure than from say chemotherapy because with chemotherapy you know for example that your blood counts are going to drop seven to ten days after the chemotherapy and then they're going to recover but with an immunotherapy it may not even affect your blood counts at all and the effects could be you know more immediate or they could take a very long time you know one of the old uh, valuable lessons that we learned was with vaccines initially with some of the vaccine trials um, you know, we had thought that patients weren't responding, but when you did certain uh, surrogate immune assays, in fact, the immune system was recognizing the vaccine and responding, it just didn't lead to a clinical response. Mm -hmm. Second, when the checkpoint inhibitors uh, were first being developed, um, tumors actually grew on therapy and patients were taken off therapy. Uh, but as those patients were followed by their clinicians for months later, their tumors then shrunk. And we only later figured out that the reason the tumor grew was because the immune system was turned on and went inside of the tumor and caused the tumor to expand. Where people thought the tumor was growing is actually the immune system doing its job and expanding inside of the tumor and then months later there was actual shrinkage.